Well, hello Virgo. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, Virgo, we're going to be going over a few oracles, okay? We're going to get into the tarot. We're going to be doing all of that. Um, so just be a little patient with me, okay, as I get out your information for you for the rest of the month into August. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's see what's going to come out here for Virgo. And this is a new camera. So it's it's not a new camera. It's a new app that I'm using. So if it's not, I can't really see things up close. Like it's weird. Like I just found, find it very weird. But if I do it this way, you guys are able to see it. Okay. Now here at the bottom of the deck, it says plenty of material things, plenty of material things. This is really reassuring for those who are concerned about their finances. Um, let me see what comes out here before I even get into what I saw earlier when I was trying to do your reading. Here it says good advice from a wise person. So you're getting some type of good advice here. This could be having something to do with your work, okay? Because the next one talks about you will be playing a different role. So I feel like there is. Now, the reason why I'm going to say something dealing with the work is because the reason why I noticed that the camera was off because I was doing your video before and I cut it off because I'm like, oh my God, it's blurry, right? Um, so I'm going to tell you what I saw in that reading. It talked about a new job, a raise and stuff like that. We've been seeing that a lot in your reading anyway. Um, and also it, it didn't come out in the reading, but I remember mentioning that there could be some type of solution at the end of the year for you, meaning that it could be more than one. So you're going to find there's going to be some type of resolution to whatever problem that you're having. Okay. So I did see that, but really good to see because here it talks about plenty of things. The other reading talked about a new job or raise or whatever. Okay. And having advice from people, um, giving you really good advice um, if you need it here. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's see what else is going to come out here for you, Virgo. Let's get it. This is for Virgo. And this is going to be a short reading. It's not going to be that long. Okay. Well, at the bottom of the deck, and oh, yeah, and I did pull this card too. And on that one, it says something about a soulmate. So, <laughs> so let's see what it says on here. Any conflict that you may be experiencing with others will be resolved. Keep an open mind and be willing to listen. Now, conflict could be coming from different people, could be coming from family, coming from friends, work, you know, work people, <laughs> co-workers or whatever. Um, it's interesting that this says uh, solution or resolution because I just said mentioned that, right, that there's going to be some type of resolution or something that you guys are going to get resolved okay and that could be some type of conflict but again conflict doesn't have to be with a person it could be a situation okay but it says it's going to be resolved now this is the card that came out it says make Egypt your spiritual home and welcome their power into your daily life create an altar to the deity of your choice so I feel like for some of you you're already in this energy where you already have an altar I mean, and, and understandably, not everybody believe in the same thing. So, I mean, it can't tell you to do something that you don't believe in. I feel like this is just talking about prayer, meditation, that type of stuff. If you don't believe in making altars and stuff. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's get into your reading with this tarot deck. I know you guys remember this tarot deck a while back. <laughs> So let's see what comes out here for Virgo. Let's see. Sorry, cards are flying everywhere. All right, one of the cards that came out here is the is the Eight of Wands. This is really good, okay? I love this energy for you because if you pay attention to this man here, he's like laid back, he's relaxed, right? Because there has been some type of progression. He did the work, so now he can relax and chill. So I am seeing that, but the Eight of Wands is always a really good card to see because it talks about progression. And I feel like this is gonna happen everywhere in all areas of your life, really. We see plenty of things. Isn't he under plenty of things? He got all this fruit that he's just laid back, relaxing. No care in the world, no worry in the world, okay? 
I also see for a lot of you, for those who are single, I see plenty of dating here. I see an active sex life. Mm -hmm. Virgo, you came out at the bottom of the deck here. Now, I do feel like either you or someone, there is going to be a relationship. There's going to be a connection. But I feel like there is someone who's wanting you from your past, who's in a way watching you be with someone else. This is something that I'm seeing. And I feel like this is what you're going to experience. You got multiple of admirers, okay? And so who you choose is going to be up to you. But I definitely see this. I see, man, I just see an improvement just in your overall life. I feel like this is the light at the end of a very dark tunnel for a lot of you here, Virgo. And that is what I'm seeing. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull one more. This is for Virgo. Let's see what's going to come out here. This is so hard to do this because it's slipping from my hands. Thank you. <laughs> That's what happened the first time. All right. Um, you have the five of cups. Wow. Okay. So this talks about crying over spilled milk. This talks about disappointment. It talks about um, sadness. So I feel like in relationships, if you pay attention to that card, I feel like in relationships, there's going to be one particular connection that you want. But at the end of the, at the bottom of the deck is the high priestess. And this is letting me know for a lot of you, this has something to do with secrets. Someone had a secret, okay? Um, just don't get caught up in lying to people that you're dealing with because it can end up really, really bad here. I also feel like you're going to be hearing news about somebody in a car, in a dealing with a car. I'm not going to say that it's a car crash, but I feel like someone may have been doing something reckless dealing with their car here. So I'm just, you know, telling you that there's going to be something like that I'm saying, okay? But um, either way, like I said before, you're going to have to make a decision about who you want to be with. And this is what I'm saying. Most, most of you guys are going to be uh, in this position, needing to know who to choose and love. You know, it's, it's about your conscience, the good and the bad, who's going to be right for you. But you're on the up and up, Virgo. This is something that I'm saying, okay? I see a little moody attitude a little bit, and I feel like it has something to do with that five of cups, but things are going to get better for you really soon, okay? So this is what I have for you here, Virgo. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you are new, please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you soon. Bye.